Hey friends, how are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing so, so well. And I'm super excited to be back today with another episode of the $1 Thrift Challenge. As I've gone through this series, I started with $1 and then I sold an item that I thrifted in the bins for that $1 made some profit, used that profit to buy some more items to resell, and we've been snowballing and snowballing this money until we're at the point today where we're in the $600. So this is how much money we have in our challenge bank today, and the goal is to get to $1,000 by starting a business with only $1. So I'm gonna update you guys on what has sold since the last episode of the Dollar Thrift Challenge. I'll do that once we get in the car. But today the plan is we're gonna go thrifting at both Uptown Cheapskate and at Goodwill. I haven't been to a regular Goodwill in a while with you guys, so I wanna go see what my local Goodwill has to offer. But I also got a text this morning. I wasn't gonna go to Uptown Cheapskate, but then they said that this is their semi-annual sale and I also get like an extra $5 off my purchase. So you guys know I'm a sucker for a good deal. I'm gonna also go there. I'll take some things in there to also like sell to them. We'll look around there and we'll also go thrifting at Goodwill. That that is the plan for the day. I'm super excited to head out and look for things for the dollar thrift challenge, but I'm gonna go to the car and I'll update you on what's sold there. Okay, as promised, we are here to talk about what sold. We actually had a few good sales. It's only been a week, but we sold one, two, three, four different things and all for a pretty good amount. So at the beginning of today, we have $658.63. That is what we had left over from last episode. But the first thing that sold this week was one of our things from the very first Goodwill we went to with the Dollar Thrift Challenge, and that is this Lulu's Jet Set dress. We sold it for $40, it finally sold, and we made $30.50, so our challenge bank goes up to $689.13. And then the next thing that sold, if you guys saw my pack with me, ship with me video, then you saw that this Lululemon down for a run vest sold. We sold it for $80, which is actually a really good deal for the buyer because these sell all the time for around $100. So an $80 sale, we made $64 in profit from that, bringing our challenge bank up to $753.13. And then the next thing I sold is something that we picked up just in last week's video. So the last episode, I picked up two different new tags, Lulu's dresses, and this one, the long sleeve bodycon one, sold for $34. I put it up for $40. Somebody offered me $34, a very reasonable offer. I love reasonable offers. So from the $34, we made $27.20, bringing our challenge bank up to $780.33. And then the last thing that we sold is another great sale. It, it is also from the last episode. I picked up this Ravens and Nike puffer coat. It was goose down. And this is also a great deal for the person that bought this. We sold it for $85, which is a great Great sale for us, a great deal for them, and we made $68 from that piece, bringing our challenge bank in total up to $848.33. So we are $150 away from $1,000, and I think we can get there in another week or two. We are getting so close. It depends on what we find today. If I can find things that sell within a few days like these last pieces did, that would be amazing. So we have $848. We're going to go to Goodwill and Uptown Cheapskate. So hopefully we can find a few things that will sell quickly and that won't use up as much of our challenge bank. So that's the hope for today. I'm gonna to be very selective. So let's head to Uptown Cheapskate first and then to Goodwill. Hey friends, so look at me looking at Uptown Cheapskate, it is literally my weakness, but here I am finding these gorgeous pair of leather fry boots, they are so pretty, I really like all the details, they are really high quality, but $70 is just way too much for me to spend on reselling a pair of boots. So I left those boots over there even though it broke my heart a little bit and I went over to dresses because I have been loving thrifting dresses lately. And right here, you were seeing me find this dress. I literally have looked at this exact dress probably four times now. Every time, I am so tempted to buy this. The comps just are a little bit mixed for a short dress like that. It's from the brand Happy by Nature. And so I decided to leave it there today again. But man, it is so pretty. It's new with tags. It's a really cool company. So it's a really beautiful dress, decided to leave it. But now I'm looking through all these dresses, but as you can see, almost every single one has no sleeves. 
Like they are all strapless. They're not strapless, but they're all sleeveless dresses. And now I'm getting a little excited because you can see the little Lulu's tag poking through that other dress, but literally not a single dress at this Uptown Cheapskate had sleeves. And in my experience, if a dress does not have sleeves, it doesn't sell for as much. So I ended up not picking up a single dress, even though I spent the majority of my time looking through every single one. I also was tempted by this Calvin Klein dress. I thought it was a really cool style and something that I personally would wear, but it just probably wasn't worth it at that $20. I think it was half off, still only $10, but not worth it for me today. So I just made it to the Goodwill and I have been to Uptown Cheapskate so much in the past few weeks that I feel like I was maybe just a little bit, I'd already been there and seen it all. So the only thing I picked up just one thing, I only picked up one thing at Uptown Cheapskate, is this cute little Madewell top. It has these little puff sleeves, has a star print on it, and it's a wrap style. So I've actually seen this there before, and I've passed on it, but today it was 50% off, so it was only $6. I did have store credit, so I didn't pay anything out of pocket, but in order to keep this kind of, I had to give some clothes to get that store credit, and those clothes are things that I got in the bins to take to Uptown Cheapskate to use for in-store credit. So I would say I probably sold two items to them to pay for this top, so I spent $2. So I'm gonna take $2 out of the challenge bank. So now we have $2 less, but I made it to Goodwill and I'm really hoping I find something here today because I don't know, I just don't wanna add one item. I wanna add more than that, but I mean, we'll see what the Goodwill has. But also, I met one of you guys in the Uptown Cheapskate, and that was so fun. So Mary said hi to me. She said my name, kind of scared me a little bit. I'm the jumpiest person I know. And then we got a chat. So Mary, thank you so much for saying hi. And if you guys see me out and about ever, make sure you say hi. I love meeting you guys in person. So that was really fun. Mary, you're a sweetheart. I really enjoyed getting to meet you. So now let's head into Goodwill, and hopefully we find some good pieces that will give us a lot of profit. Let's go. So this is my first time actually looking through all these like this little wallet section and I actually did find something here that I do pick up for the challenge but I also found this adorable little pink unicorn mini cheer backpack. I literally like could not handle it. It reminded me so much of like my high school Lisa Frank days. I had a little notebook in it. It was hilarious. And I'm not gonna bore you guys with this, but I literally always look through the bra section at my Goodwill. I found so many Lululemon sports bras there. And now I literally didn't even cut out the part of me just getting the camera ready right here because this is my actual reaction to the first piece I looked at in the legging section. Look at me, I am so excited. I found that pair of Spanx and I am oh so excited look around, see that somebody's watching me and then do my happy dance a little bit later. <laughs> and so that was a great first find. And then I'm gonna spend a lot of time looking through this legging section because I, this is the second time I found Spanx at the same Goodwill. So very excited about those. Those should probably resell right around that $50 mark. So that's really good. And then I also wanted to give you guys lots of angles because I love my jacket I'm wearing. It's so cute. And also, why? speaks for itself and then this is a pair of leggings I found all my leggings are $3.99 it's by the brand Lucy and this is a newer brand to me I actually have never picked it up I've never tried to resell it this pair you can tell it's a Lucy by that little orange line embroidered on the end but these were a cropped pair and so the comps didn't look that great for them so I decided to leave them behind and now let's go to the car and see what I got okay that was pretty productive we made it to the car and I was supposed to spend $28.61, but I had $4 of loyalty points I didn't even know I had. So in total, I spent $24.60 in there, but I did buy one thing for Jeremy for $2. So we spent $22.60 on the challenge today. So I'm gonna take that away from our bank. But the first thing I got, this is the thing I got for Jeremy. This is just a J. Crew t-shirt. 
in his size. It was only $2, so I grabbed that for Jeremy because I like to get J. Crew things for him for cheap. And then you guys saw me find this in the video, a pair of Spanx. These are a pair of Spanx leggings. They did get dragged across the floor, so I made sure this is not a stain. It's just some dirt, so I'll have to give these a wash. These were only $3.99, and these are so nice. They're in a size large. This is what the tag looks like, so they are in great condition. I checked between the legs and everything. They look really good. Pairs of Spanx leggings for me usually go right around that $50 mark, so I'll probably list right around there. $3.99 was an amazing price to pay for those. Really happy with that. And then I did also get, one second, people just pulled in there looking at me and it's weird. Then I also did get a pair of shoes. Now this is my first time trying out Dolce Vita. I know some resellers really like them. I looked up comps and I think that I can get about $40 for these. It is my first time reselling them though, so it's a little bit risky, especially to do that with the $1 thrift challenge. But these were only marked at $7, which is really good for my goodwill. This is the square Dolce Vita logo. $7 is really good for my goodwill for shoes. These are in a size eight and a half, and I just thought these were a nice, cute little style. They're a little kitten heel, mule, and I really enjoy mules and kitten heels. I think they are the superior form of shoes, so I grabbed those. And the reason why I felt weird about holding up my next piece in front of the people just staring at me next door is because I found two different bras. <laughs> so the first bra I found is this really pretty lacy white one. I just thought that this was so pretty with all of this like see-through detail. This is from the brand Cacique. This is in a size 44C, which is the reason I picked it up. And it's from the brand Cacique. And I'm pretty sure that this is sold at Lane Bryant, but all bras, unless they're Victoria's Secret or Under Armour, they're $3. So I got this for $3. And this is a plus size piece, so I think that I can probably resell that for around $25. So I thought that would be a good return on my investment. So I pulled it on the other side. I've got another bra to show you. Let's just go for it, why not? This piece is the one I'm really excited about. Look how pretty this bra is. This has all this black and purple detailing. It is really pretty. And this is from the brand Freya, which I have actually found once before in the bins. Um, and this is a really high-end brand. So honestly, I can probably resell this right around that $50 mark, which is amazing. And this is in a size 36K. So I thought that was really pretty. Again, I really enjoy the colors on that. It's a gorgeous piece and I got that for $3. So that was also a good find. And the very last thing I found at this Goodwill is this really cool Steve Madden little clutch. I really like this kind of more embossed leather. It's really nice. I like that it says Steve Madden over and over again. We also have Steve Madden written on that gold bar. So I thought this was a really cool piece. It has a clutch and it also zips really well. The inside looks like it's in great condition as well. So we've got lots of pockets and different places to put cards. This was marked at $8, which at my Goodwill is a good price for any sort of bag. They always mark all their bags up to like $12. So for this little wristlet, I thought that was worth it, especially since I went on Poshmark and something like this sold for $47 not too long ago. So I'll probably list around 50 and then hope to make at least 40 from that. But I thought that those pieces should do pretty well. And I also wanted to keep the Dollar Surf Challenge to be pretty realistic. You're not always going to be able to go to a bins not everybody has them nearby and i know not not everybody has even a plato's closet or a buy sell trade store so i went and hit up two different places today to give you guys some good inspiration right now we have this much left in our challenge bank and we are so so close to a thousand dollars so make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss any episodes of the dollar thrift challenge i hope you guys are having an amazing day i hope you have an amazing rest of your day and until the next video bye